Hey everybody and welcome to another art vlog. Today I am doing an exercise from a book called Paint Mojo, a mixed media workshop by Tracy Verdugo, V-E-R-D-U-G-O. And first of all, I have to apologize for the very, very slow footage. I filmed this in time-lapse mode on my iPhone and um, it just ended up with a really short video, which is great for saving space, but it's not so great for explaining what I'm doing. And I really wanted to um, share with you guys the idea between, uh, behind this exercise and um, give you an idea what you would be doing if you bought this book. So the first thing I'm doing is um, following the instructions. Um, I'm doing an exercise on page 23 called Making Marks, Making Meaning. And the first instruction was to mix up a dark color using two acrylic paints. And I chose phthalo turquoise, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and quinacridone burnt orange. And I put double the amount of blue in because it turned out very red at first um, and I thought I was making black, but it ended up quite a deep purple instead. And you can see that I'm um, writing making marks, making meaning. Uh, that was part of the first instruction. And I'm, yeah, the, the idea behind this is to become free with your mark making uh, and not be so perfectionist, not be like um, an adult making something that has to be right, um, to be more childlike and just play. And that's something that I really struggle with. Um, I have this perfectionist streak and this, um, this blockage where I'm worried that I'll be wasting materials or wasting paper if I make something that's not good. Um, but the reality is you can't make something that's good unless you practice making bad things all the time first. Um, so this is what I'm doing. I'm practicing making a bad thing. But it's not bad. It's great. It's fun. It's playful. And that's the whole idea to enjoy the process and not be worried about what's actually on the paper. So the second thing that I did, uh, I was supposed to make some marks with wax crayons um, as a resist. Um, so I chose a few fluoro colors. My mum gave me some twist up um, crayons. That was what I had on hand. So I used that. And then I just put some different colored marks on, random paint streaks, dots, um, and blew them and pulled them in different directions. Just seeing what kind of marks do what you know just plan around and now I'm doing something really cool um, I discovered this well I didn't discover it I learned a technique called um, dendritic branch monoprinting and all you do is get two panes of glass put a bit of paint in between them and squish them together um, like a paint sandwich and then when you pull them apart the air enters into the paint and creates these beautiful natural looking forms um, like veins or arteries or well those are the same thing <laughs> uh, like veins or neurons and um, I love that sort of organic scientific natural look or technique um, I love that paint can do something all on its own and you are creating it but you're also watching it create itself and I love that um so yeah I did some mark making with that and see how it looks so beautiful on the glass panes by itself I am keeping some of those glass panes and not washing them off and I'm thinking I'm going to make jewellery out of them because they're so beautiful. I love them. Um, and I'm hoping you'll see more of that dendritic branching from me in the future. I love it. <laughs> so I was just using these glass panes as monoprints or stamps. Um, just 
um, putting the paper on top of them and pressing down or pressing them down on top of the paper and I love the way it kind of looks like little landscapes and trees. So I'm going back in with some paint now, some very fluid paint, some light pink and um, the, during this whole process I was on Skype with my beautiful auntie who um, is Fantangle Designs if you look her up on, I, uh, on Facebook. Um, yeah, we were having lots of fun chatting while we were doing this and it's just more fun to create together. Um, we had a chat about what it meant to us to be doing this exercise and um, what we're going through at the moment and it was just, it was really lovely. It was like, you know, if you can't get together with someone in person to create, get get together on Skype. Why not? Get together on FaceTime. Get together on Facebook. It's so much fun to create together. And it really helps to create a sense of community around you, uh, a sense that fellow artists might be going through the same thing as you. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, now you can see that I'm, I dropped some paint on and then I'm using a fine mist sprayer to spray some water on the paper. It's very thick watercolor paper, so it holds up really well to water and, um, it got very wet and so I started to dry it with a hairdryer and that blew, blew some of the paint around too, which I love. I love making, um, ink blowing marks. I, I find that really pretty. And yeah, at the moment, I'm not enjoying like the look of the painting right now. I'm, f you know, I found myself making very judgmental remarks in my head and I, I chose to state that out loud, to observe it and describe it as an exercise in mindfulness. And <laughs> when I did that, my aunt giggled and I giggled too because, um, you know, it's something we had in common. And I think everyone has that in common. You know, everyone's really self-conscious about the work they do. And it's a work in process. So no work in process is going to be perfect. Even just now, a few seconds later or a few minutes later, however long it was, I like it much better because I put all that new paint and water on it and it made the whole page really colourful. And I like that a lot better. And you can see that I got a second sheet of watercolour paper and I pressed it on top to absorb some of the paint and water and create a secondary background that I can use another time. And I really liked how that turned out too. Um, it kind of looks like an underwater scene to me, um, light through dappled water or something. Um, and yeah, now I'm doing more dendritic branching. I'm using a gold that I actually bought at Aldi and it turns out really, really nice. And that was so beautiful that I decided I could not use it as a print and I just kept it on the glass because it was so perfect. I had to make sure that I didn't destroy it by pressing it onto the paper. Because what happens is when you press it onto the paper, it sort of thickens a bit and the lines, the sort of um, delicate lines fade a bit um, and you, you, it changes. So if you get something really perfect and beautiful straight away, maybe consider keeping it and um, just keeping it on the glass and making that the artwork instead of printing it. So my aunt and I were laughing about it. Um, she was saying, can't you make something ugly? And I was like, of course I can. I do it all the time. I'm doing it now. I kept trying to make ugly glass slides and they just turned out too beautiful because of this natural process that just makes gorgeousness <laughs> all on its own and it can't help but be pretty. Um, dendritic branching, guys. Look it up. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, I kept trying. Um, I kept sort of mixing different paint colors that I didn't necessarily like, like this, um, this one particular is the one that I came up with, the, the original yellow and the purpley black that I did the writing with. And my aunt said it looked like an egg. <laughs> I quite liked that. Um, and yeah, it printed up nicely on the paper. Um, so I printed it twice. It sort of didn't make very obvious marks, but it's very subtle and yeah, I enjoyed it. 
Um, so thanks for joining me on that journey, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope maybe you have been inspired to create your own um, marks and meaningful <laughs> paper and page. And maybe you'll go out and buy that Paint Mojo Mixed Media Workshop book. Uh, this isn't an ad, by the way. It's just a cool book that we enjoyed. Um, yeah, so if you like this, I'm going to be doing more art vlogs in the future, of course. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, and comment tell telling me about what you're working on right now. Um, send me a link to your work. So happy painting, guys. Bye.